Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at hosting our own Discord bot on a Raspberry Pi. In this case, it's the my Raspberry Pi that runs my Pi Hole, as well as well, just the Pi Hole at the minute, but it'll also host this Discord bot that I have just finished tweaking around with. So let's bring it in. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to connect to our pie hole. In this case, I have already done so. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, just gonna do a clear, give it a Neo fetch, and this is what we're working with. The Raspberry Pi has now been on for 19 days, one hour and 19 minutes. It took an hour to update because of the age of the, th of the thing. But first thing we need to do is we need to ask it if it wants to update. So we do sudo apt update. In this case, it should just tell me no. I will be rather annoyed if it says anything other, however. There we go. So there are three few things that we're gonna do. In this case, we're gonna be hosting the bot using um, the Python version of Discord bot. So it's discord.py. So that's what we're gonna use. Uh, as we can see here, this is fully updated and we don't need to install any packages, so we are all set. So, first thing we need to do is install discord.py Discord using pip. Now, if we were to just do pip install you discord.py, we might just get a bounce back saying, hey, look, I'm not actually installed. Now, standard thing for systems, you don't have pip installed at all so as we can see here this is taking an age so what we want to do is we want to do sudo apt install pip3 sorry we want to install pip now as we can see here it's selecting python3 pip and in the case of a raspberry pi it is already installed now if you're running this on a Linux system, you will need, there is a good chance you will need to install pip anyway, but that's just down to the fact it might not be installed, but it's already installed here. You'll just have to look at your system and how you install pip. Now, once you have pip installed in this case, like I do, we want to do pip install hyphen u discord.py. Now what this is going to do is it's just going to install everything it needs for the discord.py packages. Now this again is going to take a while for me because I'm installing it for the first time on my Raspberry Pi. It's just got it's got to pull down everything. And it's just trying to find it all here as we can see here. It's finally looking through, downloading everything it needs. It's not taking too long to download. It's just taking a while to get to that point because of the age of the, of the Pi. So, if this is not going to uh, humiliate me by beating me to the punch, I will return once this has finished. So now that the packages that we needed are installed, what we will need to do next is install python.environment as well. So to do that, it is again just pip install hyphen u python dot env so this will be pulling down the dot environment uh, files that we need to add in variables such as calling out to external files uh, for environmental variables so just to say hey look here's the key that you need inside this file to prevent any like cross contamination from some from sources and such. So now that this has been done and we've got everything we need, now we need to go to in this case for me, I'm using FileZilla. And I have forgotten to move the files that I need into the correct place. So or have I? Because if I just do a quick refresh, as we can see here. We have a file called bot k 
CAC and thinkmenacing.jpg. So these, these are the ones we need. What we're going to do is we're going to upload these to the Pi. And if we do do CD desktop and have a look here, we have a one folder called Discord bot. I'm going to CD into Discord bot. And have a see here, we have one bot called bot.py, bot something called CAC, and something called Think Menacing. So what we will do here is we will... Sorry, my throat went dry there for a second. We will go into Discord. We will get our bot set up first with Discord. And then we will return once we're actually set in Discord. Okay, so now that we have given our bot the token and the keys that it needs, we need to actually get the bot started. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to do Python 3 bot.py. So bot.py. And what this will do is it will then kick the bot in the gear. And we should now have a bot appear shortly. So what we have here, the bot's alive, but we have nothing new here. So as is standard, we need to not do that. We need to invite the bot into the server. So to do that, we uh, need to have access to the OAuth2 URL generator, which is on the bot page. Copy the generated URL. And then deliver it onto the server. So if I then find my server, there we go. Authorize the access to the bot. Run it through the H capture. We now have a new bot called MK Ultra. As we can see here, it's just gone through the process saying, hey, look, I'm a new bot, which is what we want. So we'll just feed it a couple of messages. So in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to do CAC and then it del delivers a couple of messages. So in this case, it's delivered two messages. I just need to stop that bot because it also has the exact same. So if we do CAC, we get delivered an image of a cat tato. If we do I've got I've got to remember the functions of my own bot now. <laughs> it does not say a lot. Um, if we do embed file, multiple words in a trigger. It don't, they, well, it then fails to embed because we don't have that in the correct place this time around. So again, it's just bruh. But it works. And am I going to complain about it? No, I'm not. We have a functional server, so a functional bot for a server, and uh, which we could then develop it. Um, this bot is very much still very, very much under development, so I'm not going to be showing it for the time being. But once it's somewhat usable, then I will. But I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, maybe uh, consider hitting the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. They both work. Uh, I, you may only be able to see one of them but I can see 100% of all of them. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.